uh, in this part of the video we're going to look at uh, how we're going to import the image into Visual Studio and then write the program that will draw the eyes of the cat okay so I'll go ahead and start Visual Studio uh, we're going to create a new uh, project so just come down here and click on create a new project doesn't matter if you have uh, a different version of Visual Studio I'm pretty sure it will be able to work uh, click on create so what we want is a Windows Forms application okay uh, I usually use C sharp so all my tutorials are in C sharp um, so if you haven't okay I'm, I'm pretty sure for you to be following this tutorial you know everything about this so just go ahead and choose Windows Forms look for where Windows Forms um, application is click on it and choose next okay okay so project name is Windows Forms. Uh, I'll change the project name to uh, AI Scene Cats. Uh, AI underscore Scene Cats. Okay. Um, I'll change the location. Let's put it on the desktop where we normally keep our project. So I'll put it here. I'll call it uh, AI Scene Cats. Scene Cats. Okay. Um, oh, I haven't created the folder yet, so I'll create the folder. Call it AI CN Cats. Okay, and um, I'll choose that folder and click select folder. Okay, so I'm going to save my project there. And then the .NET framework, um, I'll just go ahead and use the latest one, 4.7.2. Um, I'll click place solution and project in the same directory uh, don't worry about that just leave everything as it is click on create and uh, Visual Studio will create a base um, uh, form uh, C sharp for, um, <laughs> what do you call it Windows Forms application okay so this is the standard template for the Windows uh, Forms application the first thing we want to do is if we run the program, uh, we would want it to be running at full um, uh, resolution. That's the whole, we want it to cover the whole screen. So uh, I don't really know the resolution of my, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Just make sure this is large enough, okay? Uh, go ahead and enlarge that. Um, let's see, let's go to, oh, by the way, click on the form, okay? You click on the form and you come down to uh, this sorry maybe I haven't shown you how I enlarge this click on the form you get this uh, dots dotted um, uh, dots if you highlight them you see you can actually drag the form so you can drag the form there and dynamically select the size you want or you can just click on the form the form is selected you come down to properties window make sure this is selected uh, make sure this is selected actually this little spanner which is the properties okay there are two uh, major things here there's the properties and there's the events tab okay this is the properties tab this is the events tab don't worry about this this is just for um, uh, the order in which you want to arrange the items in the box okay it, it will arrange them alphabetically so make sure you select the properties window okay so what we're looking for is the size so here is the size if you can't find it make sure you can scroll around in the uh, properties window and look for size so we want the size to be hmm, let's see uh, let's make it one as i can see this is probably probably okay so um Anyway, I think if I put a size that's larger than the size of my um, sc uh, screen, it will reduce, it will automatically reduce the size for me. So I think I'll leave that at 1387. And uh, the height, I'm going to uh, increase the height to uh, say 800. Press enter. Okay. So it's 1387 by 800. Uh, just to see what it looks like you can go ahead right now and test your program i'll click on play at the top here to see what it looks like okay so um it's not um basically what i want 
but the good thing is we can always uh, enlarge the size okay make sure it's enlarged so um, anyway it, does, it doesn't really matter actually since uh, we're going to enlarge it okay so um, don't worry uh, I'll just leave the size uh, like that but the height I'm going to increase the height a bit I'm going to increase the height so I'll go ahead and drag that down okay so I'll increase the height of the form okay so the next thing uh, you want to do is you want to uh, insert uh, a form uh, insert a picture box okay so you go to toolbox um, if you go to toolbox you select uh, um, you select picture box there should be a picture box somewhere okay so this is a picture box so I'll just click on it and drag it into the form of it okay so this picture box is what where we're going to place the image of the cat okay so um at the beginning i would really like this picture box to be in the center so because of that um i think i'll go ahead and change the size of my form so just click on the form again i'll go down to the size i'm going to change it to uh let's see uh, 2080 okay okay that's good um you can see immediately i put a size greater than the size of my screen it reduced it to the size of the screen so it's 1940 so i'll do the same for the height i just want it to be maximum okay um i'll give it uh, say 1048 press enter okay 1048 is going in so which means it's greater than that let's see one five okay so it's one 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 thousand one hundred so if i run this uh if i just run this i should see yes so it's fully maximized okay so this is what i want uh that's what i want okay so uh since this is the maximum size i would want the uh, picture box so I've now selected the picture box okay uh, sorry I didn't <laughs> I didn't take note of the width click on the form again let's take note of the uh, width of the form or the size of the form so uh, the form width I'm writing with my pen now on my jotter is 1940 by 1100 okay so that's the size of the uh, form the reason i'm taking it is because i want this picture box to be at exactly the middle of of um of the uh of the form okay so uh to get the middle notice what we want is this left side of the of the picture box um, that's the left, left uh, anchor or whatever you want to call it. We want it to start. We don't want it to start from the middle. Okay, so we just divide that 1940 by 2 and then we set this to be to start from that's the left anchor to start from the half of 1940. What we're going to have is we're going to have this like halfway at halfway, meaning we have more space on the left hand side. Okay, so what you want to do is just pick up your calculator I'll just open up my calculator and uh, first of all we take what is the half of 1940 the half of 1940 is uh, 970 so I'll just jot that down 970 okay so the center of this picture box is supposed to be at 970 meaning the left uh, anchor is going to be at 970 minus half the width of this uh, picture box okay so <laughs> let's go ahead and check what is this what do we set as the size I think we set 400 as the size of the uh, picture box so we want 970 minus half of 400 is 200 970 minus 200 gives us 770 so that's going to be the left anchor of this uh, picture box okay so i'll go ahead and choose okay click on the picture box and just go to the properties window make sure this is selected look for size and you can see location okay location is what you want not size sorry so the location should be at uh oh i've forgotten what we just calculated open up my calculator 
calculator um i think it was 770 right uh yes i think it was 770 so um we'll set that x if you notice the location has two um two components it has the x component comma then the y component so it's the x component we want to be 770 so press enter okay so we'll set that then the height we could do the same thing for the height but really it doesn't really um matter i think we can just um get an estimate of the height okay so i'll just place this picture box somewhere around there as the height so we're getting the height as 190 so make sure you go ahead and change that to 770 okay so let's just test run this and see what it looks like Oh, okay we're not going to see the that um, little uh, selection um, uh, line that shows us the picture box so we don't know where the picture box is so what we need to do is we need to bring in the image of the cat into this picture box okay so click on the picture box go to the properties window uh, go to um, look for uh, let's see I think it's uh, image see if we can find image uh, here it is so this is the image you can see uh, at the moment it's none so click on this little box it allows you to browse your computer so uh, it's saying project resource so uh, we'll import just click on import and uh, we're going to go to my no, not there. It's on the desktop, and on the desktop, uh, my apps. Yes, it's that folder, and this is it. Yes, this is the image we just created. So I've selected it, and I'll click on uh, open. So it will import the cat into the. Uh, okay, why are we having this black? um background okay i think the reason is i probably didn't save my i didn't export it correctly um let's just test that and see is it looking correct no it's not looking correct because i didn't export it correctly so um we'll have to repeat this step again we'll go back to gimp or perhaps maybe we loaded in a, i think we didn't no this is the old one Oh, this is the old one let's see where did i save that where did i export this is the old um uh image is it let's see i think it's the old image no it's the new image i think i didn't export it correctly so um i'll just sorry about that i'll just go ahead go to open with gimp again sorry <laughs> sorry i'm doing this over and over again um okay so we're going to go to let's see i think what did i do wrong oh yes um i didn't remove the background it's actually black background that we have there so what we want is we're going to select let's go ahead and select the cats see if we can do that no we can't select the um the background press delete now we can't do that ah uh, okay let's see oh i hate i hate visual studio <laughs> sorry not visual studio i hate game <laughs> um okay i'm going to pause this and just uh rectify that okay okay so um i've decided to redo the step all over again um let's just go to gimp and quickly do this um okay we'll start by painting the eyes sorry about that uh, i'm just not good with uh photo editing softwares okay uh we'll choose the brush i've done that i'll just paint this oh sorry i haven't selected the the color of the eyes so what well, the the mistake we did uh, the first time i think is because i didn't get rid of the background it's supposed to be transparent but i left it black okay so um i'll just go ahead uh, i've selected the brush and i'll paint that 
really sorry about that. I tried my best to see if I could if I could uh, walk with uh, the one I did initial. I'm just doing this roughly. I'm not going to waste much time. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I've done that. Um, we'll go ahead and select the one two. Uh, make sure the threshold is low. Just click on that. Uh, click delete. Okay, so this is the problem we had initially. Um, we had to go to um, because what I just deleted is the white background, and now what we have is a black background. So what I'll do is I'll invert the selection. See if I can find selection image. Uh, select invert. Okay, that's good. So I'll, I'm now selecting only the cat. Okay. So I'll do Control X on my keyboard to cut. Okay, so that cuts out the cut. I'm going to create a new layer. Um, and do okay. Click on OK. Okay, so I have a new layer on top of that uh, previous layer. And do Control V. So that pastes. Um, okay, Control V again. Okay, so that pastes it, and I can delete this layer. Let's the um, okay. So now I can go ahead and delete, delete this layer also. So you see what we have now, we have a transparent background, okay? So I'll just go to image, um, ah, yes, uh, resize it again, okay? So uh, image, scale image, remember what we did? Uh, okay, make sure, I think I still have the old uh, measurements. So I'll just cancel that first, I should crop it first image crop to content and then go to image again and then resize uh, scale image okay and then i still have my width here the width we used was 400 pixels well select 400 and that brings our height to 556 it was supposed to be 556 okay it doesn't matter anyway uh we'll just re retake the the measurements again okay sorry about that so I'll choose scale and make sure I'm in 100%. Uh, because the size has changed, I'm, I would have to, sorry, I'll have to uh, measure this again just to make sure I get the correct uh, measurements um, for the center of the eyes. Okay. Um, okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, I'll go to uh, uh, tools, yeah. Um, tools measure uh, click on here i'm going to measure the uh, center of the eyes okay that's from here to here uh, it's 124 pixels uh, okay that's there's a slight change for the left eye it was one two two now it's one two four and uh, do that again for from from here to the right eye, it's now 271. Okay, it was initially 270, now it's 271 pixels. And uh, the height measure from there to there, it's uh, 193 pixels. Okay, it was initially 192, so now it's 193. Okay, um, I think that's that's it. I can go ahead and export my uh, image again. Well, uh, let's just export us. Uh, scene cut. Where did we? Okay, new scene cut. PNG. That's this one. Choose export. Replace. Yes. Export. Okay. So I think uh, we're good now. So let's discard changes. Uh, let's go back to Visual Studio and see. Does it up update? No, it doesn't update. I'm gonna have to um, we so I've selected none. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll have to delete this. Uh, uh, okay, let's go ahead and delete that. At least I'm in Visual Studio now, so I can uh, uh, rectify whatever. So I'll have to go to uh, my design view for one designer, and I'll have to get rid of is a is it. There's a resource I'll have to get rid of. Okay, I can't find it here. Let me just run it. I think it will give me the error. Okay. 
uh, here's the error it will take me to the line here is it uh, here it is I'll delete this because uh, because I deleted it initially uh, imported the resource but I deleted the resource so I have to get rid of this uh, uh, line that keeps the path of the resource okay uh, that links the resource okay so I think I'm fine now so I'll go back to my um, design view remember you don't have to do this if uh, you if you haven't imported the the faulty that initially okay so I'll go to my picture box go to image uh, where is it? here it is uh, I'll select import and now I have my good looking cut okay I'll click OK. Uh, oh no, you didn't. <laughs> it's still importing the old one, but why? Why is it importing the old one? I got rid of it, didn't I? Let's run and see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're good to go. We've gotten rid. I think it was uh, giving us um, an issue. With, I don't know. I, it's fine now. It's fine now. So it doesn't matter. Even though it's showing um, black there. Uh, black background there it doesn't matter um, uh, okay the width of our of our picture box I think is 600 and the width of the image is 400 so we have to rectify that we'll set it to uh, the width of the picture box select the picture box go to uh, width uh, image location the size we'll go to the size yes the width we want the width to be 400 okay and the height to be 55 five, um, five, 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 press enter okay so we're good to go let's test it again okay I think it's it's fine now uh, you can see the image of the cat is exactly in the middle of the form so um, that's for setting the cat. I think I've wasted so much time in trying to set it up. So I'll go ahead and stop um, this video here and then so that we can start from uh, the next video is going to start with the coding. Okay. So.